Toontown Online was an MMORPG released by Disney. This game was released in 2003 and ran for a full decade until 2013. The premise of the game is very simple. You use gags to defeat cogs, you upgrade your gags, and eventually take down each of the cog bosses. Even when it came to the end of Toontown Online, there was still new content being added, namely being the Cellbot Field Offices. With its bright and colorful nature, it was an easy game for children to get into, but there's a lot of strategy when you really get down to it which makes it appealing for all players. Of course it was sad to hear Toontown Online shutting down in 2013 despite all of the big content updates and everyone being able to get memberships for free, but when everyone heard that there was a remake coming out, everyone was ecstatic. In 2014, Toontown Rewritten was released as a fan-made revival of Disney's Toontown Online. This game was true to its nature. Everything about this game is pretty much as it always has been, except everyone is now able to do everything for free. That and of course you don't see any of the characters walking around anymore. Even though that the names of the playgrounds still have their faces and things like that, but we don't talk about that. Disney doesn't need to know. As more and more time goes by, it's been an entire decade that this game has come out. And ever since its release, we've been getting more and more content updates, including brand new tasks and areas in the game that have never been in the original game. This, of course, is the Cellbot Task Force missions. And the Cellbot Field Offices now take over the HQs, which is a huge upgrade. And it gives a lot of those high-level tunes something to do in the post-game. But let's take a few steps back. As I mentioned earlier, the game is very straightforward. You use a gag to attack a cog, and you defeat the cogs to level up. You're given these missions at HQs which can increase your health, give you more gags to hold on to, different types of gags to use, the ability to teleport between playgrounds which are your little hub areas, and many other little things. Your basic attacking gags being throw and squirt, one being higher accuracy with lower damage, one being higher damage with lower accuracy. But you can unlock many different things as all battles can be played with anywhere between 4 and 8 players. Those specific tracks namely being the tune-up where you can heal your allies, lure where you can lure cogs and distract them for a few turns, or you can set up a trap before luring them to deal extra damage, sound which can hit multiple cogs, and drop which has the lowest accuracy but the highest damage output. And if you've made enough progress in the game, you can get something called SOS cards where you can call in random NPCs from those tune tests that you've been completing to do various things such as making cogs miss, restocking your gags, healing you, and other things like that. You can also receive pink slips, which can just instantly remove a cog from a battle, call in your doodle to do some healing, which is great if you're ever doing a solo run, and the newest thing added to the game being remote controls. One where you can have the cogs damage each other, and another where you can have them actually heal your team. All of this is to say is that there is a lot of ways to play this game, so don't feel restricted to play the game any one way. Maybe doing all these battles aren't your thing, and that's totally okay. Toontown Rewritten also features many different kinds of minigames. There's of course the trolley games, where you can have a wide variety of different kind of games that you can play for a couple minutes at a time. But there's also bigger things, such as Goofy Speedway, which is literally just a racing minigame, Chippendale's Acorn Acres, which is just mini golf, and although it's less of a minigame, there's also fishing. Fishing, as well as completing tune tasks, is one of the few ways that you can actually increase your maximum HP. Another way you can do that is by gardening. But let's say you don't want to fight any cogs, you don't want to play any minigames, what is there to do? Well, generally speaking, there's always brand new content updates coming out. One of the biggest events being Cartoonable. It's amazing to see this game that I grew up with still being around to this day, even if it's not exactly the same as what it always used to be. But maybe you grew up with Toontown Online and you want something a little bit different. Well, much like the people who recreated Toontown Online and gave us Toontown Rewritten, there's another small team that took Toontown Online and flipped it on its head. This, of course, is in reference to Toontown Corporate Clash. To put it into simplest terms, Corporate Clash has a brand new gag track, brand new cogs, brand new cog types, lots of new bosses, more tasks, more locations, and so much more. I personally have yet to explore everything that this game has to offer, but it's just amazing to see how simple something from Toontown Online used to be to being this grand thing that players all the way back from 2003 are still playing to this day. Personally, I've been a player since 2005, Little kid me would borrow my great aunt's laptop and be playing it every single weekend. I would do little chores around the house to scrounge up whatever coins I could and then every single time I had the money for it I would buy myself that membership. Because that gave me a ticket to things that I couldn't do normally. So with the game in its current state where you can do everything for free, it's little kid's me's biggest dream. But the biggest reason why I always made an effort to do that 
is simply because of the battles. Persona 5, Fire Emblem Three Houses, and Paper Mario Sticker Star are three RPGs, namely, that I absolutely love. Each and every one of them being a turn-based RPG. And the fact that this one is a turn-based RPG that you can play with other people, and it just has that cartoony charm just like a Mario game, is the perfect RPG for me. I originally started this video as kind of like a small overview of the Toontown series, and it ended up being a little bit more of a love letter towards the end. But I highly recommend this game to anybody who's trying to get into RPGs or MMORPGs or anything of the like. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments, have you played Toontown? What do you think of the game? Or if you haven't played, what's keeping you? Are there other RPGs that you're into? Let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.